up, Scorpio? Hey, Scorpio. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, also Venus. Do keep in mind that this is a general that it may or may not resonate with all of you Scorpios out there. So please do only take what resonates with you and never force it to fit your situation. All right, Scorpio, let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you guys, Scorpio. All right, so we're going to start out with some very oracle messages. And then we're going to hop into the love portion. I will pull some love oracles. Then we're going to look into your sex life because I'm going to pull some cards from the... What is it? The Tarot Magic deck? I said Tarot Magic. The Sexual Tarot Magic deck. Where's my deck at? Well, that's the deck, but... Where's my box at? I must have moved it. I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm really funny with stuff like that. Like, my box and stuff. Oh, here it is. It must have failed. I'm, like, real funny with, like, my boxes. So, I like to put all my stuff in boxes and put it back up. So, yes, we will be pulling from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. All right? And then we're going to close it out with a healing um, fairy oracle message, all right? I'm feeling fairy this week, y'all. <laughs> so let's hop in. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. Spirit of the universe, please give me some spirit messages for Scorpio. 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 All right, so we have goodbye to the old, hello to the new. So you finished one part of your life, and now a new and even better part is beginning. So, Scorpio, you guys are saying goodbye to the old and you're welcoming, you're welcoming in the new. We have business ventures. So, you guys could be um, starting a business. It says trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So, you guys can be going towards a new career, starting a business. This can be your new beginning. That's coming in for a lot of you guys. We do have walk away at the bottom. So, it says leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So, let's pull one more message. With the fairies, the Scorpio. All right, dietary change. I forgot what sign got this, but it says improve your diet and your life will also improve. So some of you guys are needing to improve your diet, Scorpio. Okay, so needing to make some changes to your diet at this time. Let's pull your other fairy message. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Uh oh, messages for Scorpio. All right, let's see Scorpio. All right, let's see. So we have protect your dreams. All right, and it says you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you are ready to release them. So you guys could be doing a lot of dreaming or having a lot of dreams. Maybe you're remembering your dreams, but whatever you're remembering, whatever your dreams are, don't share them with people right now or at this moment. Because it means something like something is going to unfold in some type of way or you're dreaming about something that's about to happen or something that's about to unfold. Okay. Um, so I don't know. I guess I can use this as an example. Um, I, it's me. It was with me. But I told you guys when I was attracting. I told you guys when I was attracting my um, fiance. I would have dreams. And at the okay, so I was like, okay, I'm open to dating outside my race, a different culture, stuff like that. And then on top of that, I put um, it was just certain things, you know. And it's crazy because I love Mexican food, and y'all know my fiance is mixed with Mexican, so it was just like interesting. But I had a dream about this lady, and she kept like making like Mexican food and cooking all this different Mexican food and sauces and tortillas and stuff like that, and then. Um, I would like dream with somebody like a guy and I would like see him, but it would be like blurry in my dream. So it's like, I can see him, but I really couldn't see him. So when I met my fiance and he was like telling me certain things. And then when he was explaining his, like, you know, explaining his mom and telling me about his mom and things that she does and like her favorite dish and stuff like that, it was exactly like what I was dreaming of. And I was just like shocked. And it was like, she was like a short, like Hispanic looking lady in my dream. And so when he told me like, oh yeah. Like, my mom was suspending, my dad is this, like, and he was telling me, like, what he was mixed with. I was like, wow, it makes sense. So, I was, like, dreaming of her and him before I met him, but I was more so, like, I was dreaming more about her than him, but I guess, I don't know how that works. Maybe she was just, like, coming to me as a, like, it was coming to me as a sign. I don't know, but, um, 
Yeah, it was like weird, but I just kept having this dream. And I kept telling myself, I didn't really tell anybody, but I was like, why do I keep having a dream about this short Mexican lady? You know, I'm like, I'm like, and she's up here making salsa and tortas and tortillas and stuff. I'm like, what is this about? And I'm like, and I, it's, I really love Mexican food. So I'm like, have I been to the Mexican truck all week? Like, what is it? Am I eating too many damn mangoes? Am I eating too much guacamole, salsa, chips? Like, you know, like I was starting to think something, but it was like, it happened around the time I was like manifesting my person and it was like interesting, but that can be it too. But I was just giving an example or it can be like when I was, like when I got my car, I was manifesting my car. I kept seeing myself in a black car. And at first, I wanted white really bad. I wanted um, a white car. And at the time, I had one of the white X5. And I kept dreaming about a black car. I just kept dreaming about a black car. And I'm like, why do I keep dreaming about this black car? I'm like, I don't want no black car. And then all of a sudden, I end up just like going for a test drive, going to different cars, different dealerships. And then that's when I fell in love with the car I got now, which you guys know. And it's all black on black. So... It, it's like well it has peanut butter inside but it's like it's all black the rims are black it's tinted everything so i end up the, the all black that i was seeing in my dream is what i end up like getting you know so sometimes our dreams really like pay out in our life it's just only if you remember your dreams and stuff like that all righty but enough of me scorpio let's talk and see i'm a fucking reading okay so let's see universe and spirit what messages do you have for scorpio someone rising also venus what do they need to know in here at this time all right, when it comes to love or whatever comes out, whatever comes out, comes out. We're going to do one more shuffle, Scorpio, and then we're hopping in. Okay, let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. All right, let's see, Scorpio. All right, so you got the nine of pentacles here. Money could be looking really good right now, or you guys are about to be rewarded financially, or you guys have some type of financial abundance or something like that coming into your life. Yep, look, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Wow, Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, if you guys were struggling about, like, struggling with finances or back and forth about finances, your finances are looking really good, okay? Or they're about to look really good. Something manifested in the autumn, like, when in, like in fall. So, your finances look really good. A windfall of money is coming in. Or you guys are getting really good advice from somebody. You guys also have a new beginning in a relationship. Look, Ace of, Eight of Pentacles, look. So after you guys release something, that's your energy, the death card, um, something new comes in. But you guys have either like you guys have a windfall of money or abundance coming towards you guys. Or you guys have like a bomb ass relationship coming towards you guys are both. Okay, you're ready. You're in the nine of pentacles. You're ready for this. Okay, some of you guys could have been back and forth with somebody or having some, you know, problems with somebody. Because I look at the two of pentacles also as like a card of like um, you're going through your ups and downs in your relationship. Wow, look, all earth energy. Wow. King of Pentacles. Wow. I don't know, Scorpio. All this green. I'm loving it. Okay. Let it little Wayne um Nicki Minaj and say seeing green. Y'all seeing green? <laughs> Scorpio seeing green. Okay. Lots of money, honey. All right. We have the moon. All right. So you're really trusting your intuition right now. This will be the best time to let go of worries and fears. Wow, look, four of pentacles. So y'all have all this earth energy around you guys. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign or have earth heavy in your chart, but this looks really good. Um, let go of fear and worries right now. And then we have the queen of summer, which is the queen of cups, which is your energy, all right? So very intuitive right now, really trusting and following your intuition. Like this looks really good and very positive, Scorpio. So yes, this looks really good, okay? Um, listen to your heart, follow your, follow, listen to your heart and follow and trust your intuition at this time. All right, Scorpio, because it's going to lead you in the right direction. It's going to be really good for you, okay? So I would do that for sure. And yes, Scorpio. Damn, I don't even want to clarify. All right, so let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. What's going on with this Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio? Yeah, some of you guys just went through a breakup or breaking up with somebody. Could be a Gemini. You're ending a relationship. Mm -hmm. So there was a relationship that you guys could have been investing in for like the last five years. Um, or you just feel like the relationship just wasn't going anywhere. Okay. It just, it was bringing you down, holding you back. You know, you just didn't feel like this is what you wanted anymore. Okay. You could also feel like you had your person's back more than they had your back. And you guys have 
you know, just decided to break things off or end things with this person. Yeah, four of pentacles. You kind of feel like you were holding on to this for a little bit too long. So you just kind of feel like the relationship had kind of already been over and it needed, it needed to just be over. You were kind of like done and just holding on. Yeah, we do have the eight of cups in reverse. I do see this person coming back around. This person doesn't, they don't, it's to them, it's not over. Like to them, it's not over. They're going to come back around eight of cups in reverse. The strength card reverse. Let's see. It could be a Leo. You guys are dealing with. We have a death card. So I, I feel as if this person, like they're going to come back and this person sits and feels like you feel some type of way, like you're fed up, like you're stressed out with them. Um, they know like a part of you wants to move on or like you don't want this relationship right now. They can sense it. They can feel it. Like, you know, maybe that's how you're coming off. Maybe you're showing them that. But at the same time, they're like, okay, like, well, maybe we just hit a rough patch. We're just going through something. It's over right now, but it's not all the way over. So they feel like they don't think it's over. They don't think it's over yet. They feel like y'all are just going through something and it's not over and it's going to get better. They're like, okay, well, Scorpio ended it with me right now, but things are going to work out and be better. Some of you guys are really focused on your finance and career. Um, your person also could have been jealous of your, your career, your finances, what you do for work. Maybe they feel like you were spending too much time with work or giving too much time to work. All right, let's go into this Ace of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. So, mm. so the Eight of Swords is somebody feeling trapped, okay? It's where your hands are tied. You kind of feel hopeless. You're just like, dang, I don't know what to do. It's somebody that's in negative thoughts. Or it's like your negative thoughts are, you know, making you have some type of attitude or feel some type of way. And it can also be you overthinking things. Well, we have this Ace of Pentacles. So some of you guys did feel distracted when it came to like your finances, your career. You felt like this relationship was distracting you or you just felt like you just felt trapped and stuck into some type of relationship or commitment that you weren't sure you wanted to no longer be in. Or this is how your person is feeling. Somebody is feeling trapped. We have a star. Somebody, yeah, I feel like they're hoping that you guys can heal and fix this. Three of Cups. In the next three months, things will change between you and this person. But, like, to them, they're just like, okay, I love Scorpio. Scorpio doesn't want me right now. Scorpio's acting funny. So, you know, I'm going to give them their time, their space, you know. But they, to them, it's not over, Scorpio. To them, it's not over. They don't want it. They don't want it to be over. Yeah. This person doesn't want it to be over. Three of Pentacles. Yep. They're hoping that you guys can turn this around and work this out. So, let's see why this Two of Pentacles is here. Something's changing with your career as well or your business your job whatever you guys do a raise or a promotion is coming in more money is coming in you guys are going to be celebrating something big so if you guys like work in sales or like you're trying to get a contract or you know trying to get something it's like it's going to happen it's going to like i don't know somebody's going to get the deal the contract or something like or maybe you're like the top seller or something like that something big is coming in and you guys will be celebrating with your staff or like with your you know um with your boss or manager or whoever like you're going to be celebrating going out having fun like this is like a big deal this is major for the company so you know if it wasn't for you it's like this probably wouldn't happen so somebody is definitely going to get you know rewarded and get some huge raise or some type of um lump sum of money or something like that is coming in as well now with the two of pentacles we have the magician and let's see it could be a verbal or gemini you guys are dealing with seven of wands here all right so yeah it's like so one of you guys are like kind of defensive or argumentative while the other person is just like trying to manifest move forward. They're focused on like, so if this is you Scorpio, it's like you want the relationship, you're working. Maybe you're just like, you know what, I want to plan some trips, do stuff like this. I'm trying to focus on the summer, you know, or just focus on my kids. It's like you're trying to just manifest the good coming in where it's like this person is like they're upset about certain things you're trying to do or manifest or things with like your work and stuff. I don't know why. Yeah, this person feels like you're cutting them off or cutting them out of your life. Somebody also feels like you're choosing work over them or you're choosing your finances or other things like you're like you're committed to other things like your priorities like they're not your main priority. That's how somebody feels or that this is how you feel. Remember, it can be interchangeable. Yeah. So somebody feels like they're not like, you know, number one in your life or you feel like you're not number one in somebody's life. Somebody feels like somebody is, you know, their last priority of worry and it's making them feel some type of way. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, but it's like whatever this opportunity is, opportunity or whatever this new beginning is for you, Scorpio, it's like really good. And I feel like 
they need to understand that. Like some of you guys, it's like it's you're finally getting that breakthrough. You're finally getting rewarded. There's a lot of success, victory, good things, money, a lot of things coming to you. A lot of you guys are going through it and now you're about to be comfortable again financially or like your finances are just picking up, doubling, tripling, something like that. And I feel that you guys still want this relationship outside of that, but they are needing to understand and realize that you have to take care of work or like, you know, your business, like something that is something that you put a lot of time and energy into. Like you've been there for years. You could have felt like, okay, I should have already been there or been at this level or something like that. But something big and major is coming in for you. Yeah. And with the Wheel of Fortune, they, this is a setback, a delay. You know, this person could be holding you guys back. Okay. The Hermit is here. So a lot of you guys are withdrawing, going within. And you're like, you know what? I need some time. I need some space. Or this could be your person telling you that they need some time. But I feel like this is you, Scorpio, because let's see. Um, go into this hermit for Scorpio. Yeah, this is you needing some time and space. Yeah, we have the seven of pentacles, eight of cups. I feel like you don't want to walk away from this. I definitely feel like you're um, invested, but you feel like your person has no patience. And the seven of pentacles could be a card of contemplate, a contemplation. So taking some time out to really think things through. Okay, and your person is feeling some type of way about how you are wanting to move forward or the things that are going on in your life. Go into this King of Pentacles here. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Five of Swords, yep. And the Nine of Swords. So your partner also may think that you think you're better than them, but I feel like this is their own thoughts. Like this is their negative thoughts. Yeah, I feel like this is how they feel and what they're thinking. Yeah. I feel like they're just, that's just how they feel. And they're saying that is how you feel or how you look at them. But I don't think that's the case. I like this person is stressed and worried and they got something going on. Your partner can also be going through something financially right now. And you are in a better position than them financially. So it's also making them feel some type of way. It's making them insecure or making them feel insecure. Or it's just making them just feel like, you know, like, oh, because you got this job, you make this money. Like, what, well, you're better than me, blah, 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 blah. You know, stuff like that. So it can be that too. It can be that they just feel like they're like really insecure, you know, and they're trying to bring you down with them and make you feel some type of way. But don't go into this nine of wands. Yeah. Page of spring. Let me see the world card. Yeah, because they feel like everything is about you. They feel like you keep getting good news. You keep getting good things. You know, our good things keep coming your way or you keep like, you know, like, so say like if like you come, you come back home and you're like, oh, wow, I just. You know, I got a new client or, oh, I, you know, I got the contract. I got the deal. Oh, I'm going to raise. Oh, we're going on a tr uh, company trip. Oh, we're doing this. They feel like you keep throwing certain things that you're doing in their face and it's making them feel some type of way. But I don't feel like you are. I feel like you are just sharing your accomplishments, like things that you have accomplished, things that are going on and they don't like it. They, it makes them feel some type of way. And that's sad because your person should be very supportive of you and the things you do, especially if they really love you. Like it shouldn't be like that because... I don't know. It just shouldn't be like if I don't know. Like people shouldn't do that. But let's see. Why is the moon here? We have the four of wands, the ten of swords, the moon in reverse. Somebody also feels like somebody is cheating or doing something behind their work, and I mean doing behind behind their back, and it's due to their work schedule or something that you are you know, obligated to or something that you are putting a lot of time and energy into, they feel like that's not the case. Somebody feels like somebody like somebody feels like they're being cheated on. We have the King of Wands in reverse, King of Swords, Justice in reverse. So this can also be reverse psychology because I feel like this person has cheated on you guys before and did something to you in the past. They got away with it though. You don't know about this. Okay. But now there could there could just be guilt. Okay. And now they're starting to think that it's you. They're like trying to blame you or accuse you for something that you're not doing. Yep, judgment reverse. Told you it's something that they did. They feel bad. And they feel like they're getting their karma. They feel like it's coming back on them. Like they feel like the universe is doing this to them because they did it to you. But I feel like it's all in their head. You know, I feel like it's because, you know, like I said, they cheated. They got away with something. They did something to you in the past that you don't know about. And they think that you're doing it back to them. Yeah. So let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. Seven of Swords. Yep, see, they think you're being sneaky, deceptive. Somebody is making it 
okay, how they feel is that the things you're saying sound too good to be true. So, like, they feel like you got to be doing something to get to get what you're getting. You know what I'm saying? Or you got to know somebody or be messing with somebody or doing something. Like, they feel like, you know, like, you're not telling the truth about something. And they could have confronted you about that. So, say if, like, your boss, maybe your boss does like you and they flirt with you and they just gave you a raise. It's like, that doesn't mean you did anything with your boss, you know? But they think that you are doing more than what you're saying. Yeah, this person doesn't want to let go of this relationship and they don't understand why you want to break all of a sudden. They don't understand why you want to break and why you don't want to be with them. Two of Swords is reverse. That's an indecision. Maybe you just don't know about this person right now. Maybe you're just telling them, like, look, I don't know about this right now. Like, you're doing too much. You know, it's making me feel some type of way. That can be it, too. With that energy there. That can definitely be that. But the Two of Swords in reverse is also lies being exposed. Okay? So, it's like they feel like you're lying and that some type of truth, something is going to be exposed. Something's going to come out. You know, like I said, this could be the ugly around though, Scorpio. Six of Swords. They feel like you're just, um, like you're brushing it off like it's not a big deal. Like you're just like, okay, whatever. I'm moving on. I don't have time for that. Like that's how they feel. Like they feel like you're just, you're not taking them serious or whatever. And you're just moving on and moving forward with the situation. Like, but I really feel like for some of you guys, you're not doing anything. I don't see, I really see Scorpio for a lot of you guys, you're really focused on your work. Like you're focused on your money. Some of you guys are really like into your money, your business, your career right now. You guys are really trying to get your finances together is what I'm seeing for a lot of you guys are like you guys are in a good energy right now financially. So you're doing a lot with work and stuff like that. And you're not trying to mess up this opportunity or these opportunities coming in, which I don't blame you. Let's see. Let's put some love cards for you. So we have body, uh, body language. We have pillow talk. So maybe you guys used to spend a lot of time together. Okay, your heart, I would choose. So I feel like you guys just spend a lot of time together. Cuddle, spoon, it's safe to fall. So you guys both felt safe with each other at one point in time and fell in love with each other. We have you are already and then we have fear of failure. So I, like I said, I feel like it's their own like guilt and insecurities. This person may feel like they're going to fail by you, you know, or they feel like you're doing something to come up with in the relationship. Like they, they feel like you're doing something to, you know, to mess up what you guys have. Yeah, and then we have friends to love her. So they feel like there's a friend that you're around that you want to be with. Or maybe they feel like you're too close to somebody. Like I said, it could be a co-worker. It could be a boss. Somebody, they feel like you're too close to somebody. Like y'all are too close. Too kiki chi chi You know what I'm saying? Like ain't shit that funny type of energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if that person is around, you're like, okay, well, like, what's so funny? You know, y'all are like doing inside just, and they're like, no. So we have let go of control. So I feel like that's what it is. I feel like this person feels like they have no control over you or the situation. Um, or what you have going on or maybe they're used to having control or they feel like you know things are out of their control like you know like it's whatever you're doing or however you're moving Scorpio is making them feel some type of way so you definitely got them in their feelings and they don't want it to be over is what I'm getting All right, so let's see, Scorpio. All right, so we have friend zone. So maybe you are friend zoning somebody. Like, you're being friends with somebody, just friends. Maybe it's nothing like that because on the card it says just friends. Someone likes someone else only as a friend, so not relationships. So, yeah, I feel like whoever this is, like, if they are close to a coworker or something, or if somebody is around, somebody is not, like, it's not more than a friendship. It's not more than that, Okay. We have the guarded heart. Yeah, so I, this trust issues, fear of past hurt. I fight this person like they have trust issues. They have trust issues because they hurt you in the past. Yeah, and so they're having a hard time like dealing with it. You know, they did something wrong to you and it's eating at them now. Taking out the trash, finally dumping the loser, cutting ties. So yeah, they feel like you're dumping them and taking out the trash, like you're getting rid of getting rid of them for good. They feel like you don't want them no more. They definitely are. You whoever you guys are dealing with is definitely in their feelings for real. The cheater story. See, they they cheated on you or they got cheated on, and they're triggered right now. They feel like you're cheating. They feel like it's more to the story. They feel like it's more to the story. Let's pull some characteristic cards. This can describe you or your person or this part may not resonate with you, Scorpio. Okay? So only take it if it does. It may not resonate with you. 
Remember, it's just a general reading. Let me see. Carol's get cards for Scorpio. This card keeps coming out. Big, big energy. So somebody is in a good energy right now or somebody's energy is shifting in a big way, like in a major way, like in a good way. We have um, deep, attractive voice. So your person can have a deep voice. Somebody could be like young at heart, free. We have packing. So maybe your person has a six pack. Or you could, Scorpio. I ain't mad at you. You could have a six pack. Maybe you work out, go to the gym a lot. We have not ready. So see, this is what I'm saying. I just feel like whoever you guys are dealing with, they weren't ready in the past. And now they are. And I feel like they, you know, they weren't ready in the past. But now they are and they did their dirt. And you're really focused on your money, your finances, all that. And... I don't really feel like, I don't see where you're doing anything, okay? But let's see. We have five, eight, and shorter. So you guys can be five, eight, and shorter or your person. We have slow to commit, a unique a unique physical trait. So yeah, your person could have been very slow to commit, but now I feel like you're just committed to other things, all right? Still trying to figure out life goals and dreams. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like your person also feels some type of way because you are doing what, you want to do far as like like i said with your business career stuff like that and they're still trying to figure out their life they're still trying to figure out their life goals and their dreams and what they want to do for work and you know or they want to start a business like they're still trying to figure themselves out like what they really want okay so let's pull from the tarot of sexual magic and then we're gonna pull from these cards to see oh damn what you guys don't see coming you know i don't pick up cards from the ground And then we will pull a um, healing fairy oracle. So let's see, Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. All right, when it comes to Scorpio's sex life. All right, Scorpio, let me look at the cords first. So I can look at the energy all together. Okay. Yeah, I see what this is in the source. So somebody miss make somebody misses making love to you. They do. They feel like you don't want to be touched, you don't want to be bothered. And because you guys haven't really had sex like that, that's probably what's making them feel like that. This person. This person misses like kissing on you like they maybe you were this maybe you are very affectionate but you just haven't been lately okay somebody has like a booty fetish or likes to just eat booty the girl is bent over and he's like got his face all in her booty okay or maybe they you know we're grown maybe they eat it from the back okay maybe they eat it off from the back i don't know okay so you know or maybe i don't know maybe if you're a female i don't know maybe you um I know. Lick it, slob it, whatever from the back, you know. But yeah, with the seven of swords, see how they got their backs turned? So you guys like aren't being intimate. Like, um, if they don't touch you, you don't do nothing. Um, they want you to touch them, you're not touching them. But this is somebody like where you guys, you know, are very like romantic and you guys are very affectionate and you guys cuddle a lot and kiss and hug a lot and you guys haven't been doing that lately. And, um, yeah, it's making them feel some type of way. They also, they feel like if, if you ain't fucking me, you gotta be fucking somebody else. So they feel like if you ain't been with them, then you definitely been with somebody else. But that's not always the case, but that's how they feel. So they miss, you know, for a lot of you guys, they miss bending you over and making love to you. Okay. You got to miss in that, um, that, uh, that is JJ. Okay. So, they're over there probably slobbing and looking crazy. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what you guys don't see coming. All right, let's see. 
So, for some of you guys, what you don't see coming is a crush. I feel like you guys know somebody does like you or is crushing on you, but I feel like you don't look at them the same. Staying centered, aligning yourself with the universe. So, what you don't see coming, some of you guys are just staying centered, focused, meditating. That's a good thing. So, starting to refocus your energy, meditating. It says, you know, already know on the T. So, you already know what's going on in the situation that's coming towards you. So, you already know what's going on. Um, what you don't see is envy, so there could be jealousy around you. There's a family trip being pl uh, planned out, or you may go on a family trip or go on some type of vacation. Maybe you didn't see that coming. Maybe you said you weren't going to go. Maybe you didn't have time in your schedule, and then you will. And then we have don't want to hear it. So there's going to be an argument or a disagreement, okay, that you don't see coming. And then we have caught up, so I don't know. I don't think this is you. This could be them. Maybe they're going to do something stupid because they think you're messing around. Let's see. Caught up. Two of Wands. Oh, wow. See, and they, um, somebody is talking to somebody online or like chatting with somebody because they really think you're out here doing something, Scorpio. So I don't know. That's crazy. Let's pull your healing oracle message, your healing fairy oracle message for Scorpio. We have parenting and children, okay? So let's see what this is about. All right, so a positive change is occurring for you in the area of parenting. An unexpected occurrence will hurdle a happy outcome between you and a parent, a child, or both, okay? So it says this, oh, no, sorry. It says family units are extremely important to the fairy realm. They understand the value of taking care of these relationships. The fairies never allow hurt feelings to fester. They promptly discuss misunderstandings and they share feelings honestly with one another. By drawing this card, you are urged to face up to any ill feelings you may have with family members and take human and spiritual steps to affect a to affect a healing. All right, so this just isn't with your children. You can be the child. Like, so you are your mother's child, your father's child. So there may be some other father issues and you guys are needing to heal from at this time or work through that energy. It says this card may also signal that a new family member is coming into your life. This could mean a new child or a new family member by marriage. So some of you guys are pregnant and about to give birth to a child. All right, so I don't know why I'm getting like some of you guys are going to have a baby next month. So congratulations. Um, it could also signify the return of a family member with whom you lost contact. So some of you guys could be giving birth to a child that is going to remind you or look like a family member, somebody that passed over, or like as soon as you got pregnant, a loved one passed away. Okay, so you could have got pregnant and your grandmother passed or your grandfather, somebody close to you. All right, they're trying to come back. All right, um, these changes come to you on heaven's wings, meaning that you are safe, protected, and will... Um, so you will experience enjoyment from them. All right. So the affirmation for this is I have happy. I have happy parent and child relationships. I allow my heart to open up so that I can feel compassion and love for all members of my family. And remember, y'all, you have a baby with somebody. That's technically your family. Y'all are my family because y'all got this baby. All right. People try to. My friend was trying to argue with me. She's like, that ain't my damn family. I'm like, girl, y'all have a child together. Y'all are family now. I know some people don't look at it like that, but I mean, it's true. I mean, you look it up and think about it. All right. So that is your reading, Scorpio. That's what I have for y'all. Okay. If it resonated, share your girls some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys love to book, you already know. Fireintuition.com. Bye, Squirt.